Hey friends, welcome in. Who's ready to open this giant box of mystery plush? Okay, so I actually ordered this plush box off of Goodwill uh, bluebox.com and they call it a mystery plush box. It was $19.99 for 10 pounds of plush and they charge $5 shipping. So they tell you there how that you can use it if you buy it. They say the plush is in varying conditions. There might be some damages, some scuffing. There might be some that needs to be cleaned. Uh, but for $20, I thought we would take a chance and see what's inside. Okay, so I did open the box just because I didn't want to mess with scissors and stuff um, here on the video, but I haven't looked to see what's inside yet, so we're going to do that together. Um, now, I can't guarantee you I'm going to know what everything is. <laughs> also, I don't know about you, but I have made a lot of money selling plush on eBay in the past. Um, different plush pieces that I've picked up at the regular Goodwills that you can shop at, which is why I was definitely willing to take a chance on these, but just peeking in the box, I am seeing a little bit of dirty stuff, so let's see here. First off, we have ALF, and this one is actually a Disney Store original. It says authentic right there, and he seems to be in pretty good condition, so I'm surprised. The only condition issue he has is he's got a little bit chipped off on his nose right there, but I don't know. Maybe I could sell him in my antique booth. What do you guys think? Um, next up, this one I think is like Rainbow Bright, Rainbow Bright's dog maybe, I'm not sure, but um, she does have some condition issues, I saw a bunch of dirt, there's some dirt on there, especially right there on the front paw, you can see it better, but let's see what the tag says, super cute, hey Skippy says 1983 Hallmark cards. So I don't know, maybe I could just throw this in the washing machine. And I know that sometimes these rainbow, uh, did I say rainbow bright? Yeah, I think that's the right way, the right word. They, I know that they can be pretty collectible. So it's too cute. Maybe I can throw it in the uh, washing machine and see if we can sell it. Uh, or maybe we'll look up some comps here in a minute. So that's two. The next one is this little brown dinosaur. And he is by Prehistoric Pals. And he seems to be in good condition. He almost reminds me of one of those, um, one of those Scentsy Pals, just the way the texture of the fabric is. But yeah, he is pretty cute. And I would say this one's definitely in great condition. Next up, we have a little puppy dog by CP Toys. Little brown, white puppy dog. He is also in very good condition. So I've, I've never heard of that brand though. CP Toys. Let's see. Yeah, CP Toys. Uh, let's see. Next up is this adorable little horse by Gans. And he looks to be a Webkin. So maybe, I don't know. I think the Webkins, those can be pretty valuable sometimes too. I think that's what that W stands for. Then again, you know, I could be totally wrong, which is always a possibility. <laughs> but yeah, he does have a little bit of dirt there on his paw. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh my goodness. We have a little bitty animal here that has a Batman outfit on. It looks like Batman or I don't know, is it like a cat? Maybe it's a cat costume, a cat mask. I'm not sure, but um, let's see what this one says. Skippy is smelling all these plush down there. I can't not see a brand or anything on these. Oh, it does say something, but of course I can't read it. The North American Bear Company. The North American Bear Company. So that one's cute. Okay, let's speed things up here. We've got a little dog here. 
Looks like they were already trying to sell this one at Goodwill because it's got the little barb tab tag right there. Or maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe another store was, but this one looks pretty used. It's a beanie, beanie tie. Okay, next what? Next up is a bigger one. This one says Ohio State, and it's a big bear. Looks to be in pretty good condition, pretty clean. And it is a Build-A-Bear. So cute, look at those little tail sticking out of the shorts. So that is a real cute one. Probably could sell that one for sure. And here we have a Hawaii 50th State Limited Treasures Coin Bearer. And he looks to be new with the tag. And looks like it says August 21st, 1959. I don't know, is that like when Hawaii became a state? I'm not sure, I don't really know my uh, history. I mean, I know it, but I don't keep up with it very well. Oh yeah, statehood, 1959. That's a neat little bear, especially for somebody who lives in Hawaii. Uh, what are you, little critter? A cat, like a Persian cat maybe? This one's a pretty hairy little cat. Got some funk on him. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and there's that W symbol again. I'm pretty sure that means Webkins. And it's a Gans. Gans, Gons. I don't always know how to pr pronounce everything. I just know how to sell them. <laughs> okay, next up is a cute little, I don't know, maybe a puppy dog. He looks like somebody bit off half of his poor little ear. <laughs> Poor little fella. I think he was probably somebody's chew toy. What do you think, Skippy? Uh, we have a little multicolored puppy dog looking guy here. No tags. Looks like it had a tag, but it was cut off. Oh my goodness. We have, my daughter used to love these. Beanie Boo. And this is Zuri. It's a Zuri Beanie Boo. This one only has a care tag on it. Uh, Man-made materials, little blue lamb. Uh, next up is a purple Easter bunny. Well, it doesn't have to be an Easter bunny, but I guess it could just be a purple bunny with, looks like some, some of the threading that's come loose on there. Yeah, I have no idea what that says. Purple Benny. Oh, how cute is this one? Holiday Home, $7.99. This was originally sold at, gosh, I want to say Walmart. But it says, enter American products. Huh, I don't know. But how cute is he with his little Santa Claus hat? Very cute. Yeah, enter American products. Next up, we have a um, Thai beanie Olaf, and he still has his little tag on. And this one looks to be like a pretty, pretty old teddy bear. And his tag says Gap, looks like it says Gap. And maybe made some kind of noise at some point because they got a little pushy thing here. Yeah, that's cute. I'll have to figure out which one, which one that one is. If anybody knows, uh, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Um, okay, this video is getting lengthy. Let's wrap it up. A little bitty elephant here. This one says Finding Nemo. This is supposed to be Dory. Although it looks like alien Dory to me. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let's see. People Pals. Little hedgehog. That's a lot of plush. And we have a bunny. And this one says Soul Shamalos. Shamalos. So soft. Squish. Squishmallows. I'm not sure, but he's cute. He's clean. 
Oh, what's this? A, a happy little happy birthday plush. And this is by Hug Fun. How cute is that one? Last one. Last one is a crazy, crazy shirt. Something surf company, baby plush. Oh, it's a little shark. How cute is that? He's got his little board like he's going surfing. So cute. So I would say for 20 bucks, well, 25 plus shipping, I would say $25, that's a pretty good deal, especially if you sell the plush on eBay. Uh, I've also sold plush on Macari too. So um, there's definitely money to be found in it. You wouldn't think that there is, but there is. Um, I mean, you would be a surprise. Like if you go and do a search on eBay and just like type in plush bear and uh, uh, search the souls and then sort highest to lowest, or for that matter, just go in and type in like plush animal and sort highest to lowest, the sold. And oh my gosh, you can get some really good bolos that way of the different plush that are selling that way whenever you go to like the local Goodwills and um, shop there. Like, I don't know about y'all's Goodwill, but my Goodwill, they've got like a whole section sometimes. Well, actually, let me think. I want to say it's like three whole sections of plush. It's just huge. So, um... Yeah, lots of money to be made in plush. This was a lot of fun, Goodwill Blue Box. And um, I definitely recommend it if you're into selling the plush or if you have a lot of fur babies, this is a great way to get a bunch of plush for cheap. So um, yeah, if anybody wants any of the plush, let me know, everything's for sale. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye everybody.